Biden's campaign donors freeze $90 million in donations after debates. Donors of U.S. President Joe Biden's election campaign have withheld about $90 million in donations, the New York Times reports. Some major Democratic donors have informed the largest pro-Biden coalition campaign headquarters, Future Forward, that donations totaling around $90 million will be suspended if President Biden remains at the top of the ticket, according to two people briefed on these conversations. The decision to withhold such enormous sums of money is one of the most concrete examples of the consequences of Biden's poor performance in the debates with his political rival Donald Trump at the end of June. Future Forward declined to comment on any discussions with donors or the amounts of promised money that have been withheld. A Future Forward advisor only stated that the group expects donors who have paused their contributions to return once the current uncertainty is resolved. The potential shortfall in super PAC funds comes at a time when the campaign itself is gearing up for a challenging July fundraising period as major donors question Biden's viability to win in November. Notably, at a press conference last week, Biden was determined. I believe I'm the best qualified to govern, and I think I'm the best qualified to win, he said. Sources also say that the Democratic Political Action Committee Future Forward, which is raising money for Biden's campaign, had planned to raise more than $700 million before the debates, but has raised only $430 million so far. Another source close to Future Forward said the committee was avoiding making major strategic decisions until it was clear who would lead the race. Two out of three Americans want incumbent U.S. President Joe Biden to drop out of the election. As Newsweek reports, citing ABC News, Washington Post, Ipsos poll data, pressure on Biden continues to mount after his unsuccessful June 27th debate with former president and likely Republican nominee Donald Trump. Vice President Kamala Harris has emerged as the most popular Democratic candidate to replace U.S. President Joe Biden than any other potential candidate, a poll shows. Russian forces have lost 1,120 soldiers killed and wounded, as well as 58 artillery systems and 24 armored combat vehicles over the past 24 hours. The General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine announced this on Facebook. Army of Ukraine destroyed 24 armored combat vehicles and 8 tanks of Russia. A total of 149 combat engagements took place in the past 24 hours between Ukraine's defense forces and Russian invasion troops along the front line in Ukraine. According to the latest update, the enemy launched 64 airstrikes against Ukraine's military positions and populated areas using 94 gliding bombs. Also, the Russians launched nearly 5,000 artillery strikes, including 143 involving multiple rocket launchers. Russian strikes targeted the settlements of Liptsy, Vovchansk, Mali Prokhody, Storitsia, Kupiansk, and Hlybok of Kharkiv region, Makivka and Serebriansk forestry of Luhansk region, Chasev Yar, Proers, Mezhov, Hirhivka, Storozhov, Druzba, Toritsk, New York, Dalm, Katerinivka, and Makarivka of Donetsk region. Near the border with Ukraine's Chernihiv and Sumy regions, the Russians maintain their military presence, shelling populated areas from across the border, increasing the density of minefields. Ukraine's air force, missile and artillery units have launched 11 strikes on enemy manpower clusters, also hitting three air defense systems and an artillery system. Russian losses in Ukraine reached conflict highs during May and June, the UK Defense Ministry reported. In an intelligence report on X, the ministry said average daily Russian casualties, both killed and wounded, reached 1,262 and 1,163 in the two months, respectively. In total, Russia likely lost in excess of 70,000 personnel over the past two months, the statement read. The ministry said the losses were due in large part to Russia's failed attempt to advance into Ukraine's Kharkiv Oblast, which opened a new front in the war in early May. Although this new approach has increased the pressure on the front line, an effective Ukrainian defense and a lack of Russian training reduces Russia's ability to exploit any tactical success, despite attempting to stretch the front line further, the ministry said. <laughs>